Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday, it's Monday so it's another meal prep day. I have three delicious recipes for you. Breakfast, lunch, and an amazing dessert. Spoiler alert, it's a pie. So if you're excited for this meal prep, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in that description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you wanna chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. Head on over and join us there. We have a super fun challenge starting July 1st. All of my recipes are on my recipe website, which is also linked in that description box. So let's jump into this week's meal prep. balls is make our ground chicken mixture. So we're going to add our one pound of ground chicken to a medium bowl, about three cloves of minced garlic, one cup of panko breadcrumbs, one egg, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, pepper, and salt. I like to get in with my hands and mix it all together. I just think it's a lot easier and everything gets combined a lot better. So go ahead and mix that until you have that nice meatball mixture. Now we're going to roll out the meatballs. We want them pretty small size. Our goal is to get 12 or 16 meatballs. In my pan here, I have one tablespoon of avocado oil. I've gotten that nice and hot. And now we're going to add in our meatballs and we just wanna make sure that they get cooked completely through. Once your meatballs have browned, these look so good. We're going to add in three quarters of a cup of buffalo sauce. Reduce your heat, and then we're going to stir to coat those meatballs. We're then going to stir in one half of a cup of light sour cream and just mix until the meatballs are coated. And here are the creamy buffalo meatballs. You can see that that sour cream just made that sauce so incredibly creamy. I'm going to package these up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So there are our meatballs. I just am going to store them in this glass container. They have these really pretty wood lids. I picked these up off of Amazon, so I'll make sure that I link these down below for you. So the recipe as it stands, makes six servings. Now you could put this with rice, pasta, you could even throw this on a hoagie roll and make a meatball sub. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do each day for lunch. I may just eat them as is with some veggies, but let's go over points for just the meatballs. It is six servings total, three points on the blue and purple plan, and four points per serving on green, 288 calories. Now that is using the buffalo sauce that I use. So if you use a different one, you may want to recalculate calories but points shouldn't change so creamy buffalo chicken meatballs for lunch dessert this week I am making banana cream pie I was originally going to do coconut cream pie but I could not find coconut pudding mix 
anywhere, literally at several stores. So we're going to change it up and do banana cream pie. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need a pre-made graham cracker crust. You can make your own, but this just makes it a lot easier. Whole milk, one third less fat cream cheese, two packages of sugar-free banana pudding, and sweetener of your choice. I have the Lakanto monk fruit, which is my favorite. I'll make sure that's linked down below with a discount for you. So the first thing I did is added my two packets of pudding mix to a medium sized bowl, two cups of whole milk, and then we're going to whisk this together until it's combined, set it aside and allow it to thicken up. 